simple or complex, all of these living things have one thing in common. They are all made of cells. Cells of complex organisms are specialized for different tasks. These create tiny pores that open and close to allow a leaf to exchange gases with the atmosphere. Examining other plant parts turns up surprises, like these cells. The end cell releases a sticky glue that discourages stem-climbing insects. Cross-sectioning a stem shows the honeycomb of cells that support the plant and the various kinds of specialized cells that make up its plumbing system. If plants are flowering, it's possible to explore the cells that make up the flower. These stamen hairs are actually bead-like chains of large cells. Deep within a flower's female organ, the ovary, is the cell that will begin a new plant, an egg cell. Plant cells have two kinds of structures not found in animal cells. One is the cell wall. Cell walls give plants their amazing strength and resiliency. The other structures not found in animal cells are rounded bodies called plastids. Chromoplasts are plastids that give fruits and flowers their color. Leucoplasts are plastids that store carbohydrates. The green plastids found in leaf cells are chloroplasts, the bodies where photosynthesis occurs. Through photosynthesis, plant nutrients are produced and oxygen released. <laughs> 